Get ready, Atlanta. Waymo is rolling out its futuristic robo-taxi service for testing on your street. Keep an eye out for a glimpse into the future of urban transportation. It's happening now. Waymo, Alphabet's autonomous vehicle subsidiary, has initiated the testing phase of its self-driving taxis in Atlanta, marking another milestone in its expanding operational and testing footprint. In the coming months, Waymo plans to roll out several vehicles operated manually to collect mapping data and familiarize itself with Atlanta's surroundings, according to company spokesperson Sandy Carp. The ultimate goal is to test Waymo's self-driving taxis in Atlanta without the need for a safety driver. Georgia, like many other states, has virtually no regulations for autonomous vehicles or EVs. This allows Waymo to potentially introduce fully autonomous vehicles on public roads today as long as they meet the state's basic safety requirements. Waymo hasn't disclosed whether it intends to commercially launch in Atlanta or any other state where it has begun to gather mapping data. Recently, Waymo started mapping Washington, D.C. and initiated winter testing of its self-driving taxis in Buffalo in November 2023. Carp stated that the company is committed to expanding its fully autonomous Waymo One ride-hailing service in the cities where it currently operates. This is being achieved while safely and responsibly advancing their autonomous technology through road trips across various U.S. states. Atlanta is the latest addition to Waymo's growing list of operational territories. Just a week ago, Waymo began offering paid robot taxis in Los Angeles. In March, California authorities gave Waymo the green light to expand its commercial robo-taxi service across the San Francisco Peninsula and freeways, providing access to San Francisco International Airport. Since November 2022, Waymo has been providing rides to and from Phoenix's airport and recently added curbside drop-off and pick-up to its services. However, Cruz's expansion efforts were abruptly halted following an incident on October 2nd in San Francisco, which resulted in the suspension of permits and the grounding of its entire fleet. The California Department of Motor Vehicles has indicated that Cruz is currently working to regain its permits in the state. It's crucial to distinguish between Waymo and Cruz. Cruz has been criticized for its autonomous taxis causing disruptions on public roads, obstructing traffic, public transportation, and emergency services. On the other hand, Waymo has been praised for its cautious approach and fewer mishaps, but it's not without its own issues. In February, Waymo had to recall the software that operates its autonomous taxi fleet after two of its vehicles collided with the same towed pickup truck in Phoenix in December. Additionally, a Waymo autonomous taxi was involved in an unfortunate incident where it struck and killed a dog in June 2023. Waymo, Alphabet's autonomous vehicle arm, has been making significant strides in expanding its operations and testing of self-driving taxis across various cities. The company has initiated testing in Atlanta and Austin and has plans to extend its services to the general public. Despite facing challenges such as software recalls and unfortunate incidents, Waymo continues to advance its autonomous technology responsibly. On the other hand, Cruz, a former competitor, had its expansion efforts halted due to regulatory issues. Both companies highlight the complexities and challenges in the rapidly evolving field of autonomous vehicles. As they continue to innovate and expand, safety and regulatory compliance remain paramount. Join our vibrant community by subscribing to our channel for the latest updates and amazing content. Tap that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay in the loop.